Hello there. Today we're back in Greenville taking a look at the most forgotten car in the game, in my opinion. And that would have to be the 2021 Western Mamba slash Taipan. Now I have mine in the Taipan XR 2.5T in the color Dinosaur Metallic and with these absolutely amazing looking wheels. These wheels look so incredible. I love them. Apparently I left the car in reverse here, but I, since the day this car came out, I never saw it in the game. And from the f your first impressions, it looks incredibly boring. The car looks super boring, especially at the front. And there is a hatchback and sedan version. The sedan is a lot more boring than the hatchback. But it over, I think it looks cool to be totally honest. Hopping into the car. There's a nice startup sound. The ch startup chime is cool, plus the car sounds actually surprisingly good. The lighting is also top tier. Here are your brake lights, turn signals, reverse lights down at the bottom there, running lights, headlights, and then your turn signals on the front are super cool. And of course you have mirror turn signals and the horn. Keep in mind this car was made basically totally from scratch by Greenville developers. This isn't a real car, you can't go out to a dealership in real life and ask to buy a Western Mamba or Western Taipan. This car was basically 100% made and developed by Greenville uh, developers or Greenville admin which is, or Greenville developers, which is super cool. And I think they did a great job on it. This thing, this XR edition has the highest horsepower numbers. I think it has like 215. And the top speed is 149 miles per hour, which is good. Seven speed transmission, you can drive it in manual, which a lot of cars in Greenville nowadays, you can't drive a manual anymore. I have no idea why. It's either semi or auto, so that's a little bit sad. But you can drive this thing manual if you'd like. The brakes here also aren't too bad. Plus, this thing does have AEB, which is cool. Let's do it as your 60 touch on. Let's give this thing a 0 to 60 test just to see how fast it really is because I don't think it's going to be too slow. 3, 2, 1, go. Looks like it was all wheel drive. I have to check again. And 60. About 5.76 seconds in drive, which. That's not awful. You could definitely get by with that. Um. 0 to 60 time. You're not winning any races, but you could definitely get by with it. Now let's see what we can get in sport mode. I want to see if this thing is all-wheel drive. 3, 2, 1, go. Yeah, it is all-wheel drive, and it hooks up 3.15 second 0 to 60. Probably about 3.2 because it stopped it a little bit early. But dang, this thing is fast. I gotta say. It is a little car. So it's easy to park, it's easy to drive, it's fun to drive, it has good handling, it looks good, it sounds good, it drives good. Everything about this thing is really good. Plus there's a lot of custom, custom, customization available for this thing. You have a whole ton of different fun colors, plus you can put whatever wheels you want on this thing. I'll put a picture of a super good spec here uh, on the screen, just to show that you can make this thing look super cool. Plus it makes for an amazing daily driver because it, it gets great gas mileage, it's fun to drive, and it looks cool. Here it is, the 2021 Western Mamba slash Taipan. The Taipan is the hatchback, and the Mamba is the sedan there. This thing starts at $17,000 with no game pass. If you go up to the top of the line trim, which is the XR, I believe. Yeah, the XR is the top of the line trim. You do need the luxury pass. The base only has 130 horsepower, front wheel drive, top speed 170 miles per hour, five seats, and 28 MPG. But the XR here has 215 horsepower, 24 MPG, 149 mile per hour top speed, all-wheel drive, and five seats. There's also a whole ton of different wheels you can choose from. 
I think these wheels look the best and a whole ton of different colors you can choose from from the factory. Red, green, another green. This one's called Thousand Island, like the uh, salad dressing. A whole ton of different shades of blue. You have white, grays, orange, even. What new car in Greenville can you buy that's orange? Yeah, the, the colors are a little boring, the names, but like gunmetal gray, that's basic, but charge pearl coat that's cool blood metallic that's cool magma thousand island that's my favorite one not the way it looks just the name of it mine is in dinosaur and i think it looks really really good so yeah definitely if you're looking for a good daily driver if you like the way these things look i know it will be a little bit controversial because it is a pretty bland style but if you like the way this thing looks i would go ahead and buy it only seventeen thousand dollars for the base model and thirty five thousand dollars for the double line model that's pretty cheap if you guys enjoyed this video smash the like button please consider subscribing go join the discord server on Skype fans the link will be in the description out of the comments i'll catch you guys in the next one peace out